do penance with your body. When you are all alone, discipline your body. To sit in a disciplined way is also a penance for the body. Sit in a disciplined way. In every physical activities, we need a special position of the body. Okay? Yes or no? You want to sleep, a special position of the body. You want to study, there is a special position of the body. You want to meditate, there is a special position of the body. You want to eat, it is a special position of the body. You want to go to toilet, another special position of the body. In every activity, we discipline body. Swamiji, I want to meditate, my back is hurting a lot. What to do? Look, you have made your body indisciplined. You have damaged your back because of some wrong lifestyle or some other accident, something happened. Manage it. Make your back management as much as you can do. To discipline the body. You want to discipline the body? This is also tapas. Take care of your food. Taking care of food is also discipline of body. Because food keeps this body healthy or the food will make this body weak. There is a beautiful mantra about food in the Taitri Upanishad. Adyate atti cha bhutanam tasmat annam taduchyate. Or that which we eat and that which eats us is food. Swamiji, that which we eat is alright, but how food is eating us? Food is eating us in the form of disease. Food is eating us in the form of temptation. Food is eating us in the form of laziness. Food is eating us in the form of inertia. Do you know this? Be careful. We eat food, food eats us. It is said in the Bhagavad Gita, don't eat too much. In the sixth chapter, Yukta Hara Viharascha. Moderation in food. Yukta Hara, take food in a meditative way. Let not just food, eat food just to satisfy your tongue. Let every morsel of your food, every bite of your food should bring you God consciousness, Yukta Ahara. 